Welcome to the Thin Within Podcast, the show for women who want mental secrets for weight loss mastery. I'm your host, Marna Thal. I'm the owner of ThinWithin.com, and I'm here to give you the inside scoop on how to lose weight by mastering your inner game. Diets never work for me long term, and if you're like 95% of the rest of the human race, they haven't worked long term for you either. Every week, I'll give you tools, techniques, and resources you need to actually succeed in using the power of your mind to lose weight. I can't wait to teach you another mental secret, so let's dive right in. Well, hello, everybody. It's Marna here, and I want to thank some of you who have reached out to me, sharing with me that you love the podcast. I cannot thank you enough. You know, I'm just talking at you here, and I'm always hoping I'm making a difference (laughs) and helping you. So I always really love the feedback. It makes me feel really good to hear what you think of the podcast and that you are enjoying it. So thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who reached out to me to share that with me. I really appreciate you doing that, sharing it, loving me up. It means so much to me. So today is a different type of podcast episode, and I thought I would share the not-so-rosy day that I'm having. Do you ever just feel like you're just kind of in a little bit of a funk? You're just like, nothing really has happened. You're just kind of, uh. And sometimes you find yourself not knowing what to do with that energy or that feeling or that experience, or you may even find yourself wanting to turn to food just to help you bring your mood up. I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what I just did that really helped up level my mood when I was just having one of those uh, mornings. I didn't feel particularly motivated or happy or just kind of feeling blah. So I was recognizing that I was being really short with the kids yesterday, actually the last couple days, and they were just kind of driving me a little bit crazy. I've just been a little bit short. I'm like, "Mm, is this perimenopause? Am I getting my period? What's happening? What's going on? I don't know. Is it a full moon? And no matter what it is, I know that I need to take responsibility for my own stuff. That is first and foremost, and that is how I like to operate and live in the world. It is not anybody else's fault. It is my fault that I have been a little bit crabby and cranky. So that's first and foremost. So I knew that I needed to do that. Uh, I've had a couple changes to my schedule this morning and I had an open morning. And normally I would think, oh, let's go shop. Let's go kind of stuff that feeling. And instead I recognized my desire to want to go shop or go do something like that. And I said, you know what? I really could use this time to really take care of myself and nurture myself and look at my thoughts, look at what's going on. If you're like me, do you ever feel feel like you just don't take the time to look at them or it feels hard or it feels like, oh, I don't really want to do this. I'd rather just go stuff or numb out or eat or shop or do some other way to just kind of numb those thoughts and feelings out. Well, I didn't want to do that. I really wanted to reflect on this because I know that if I actually don't address this with myself and my kids, it's just not going to be a fun week. It's just not going to be a week where I'm feeling very inspired or very good. So I want to share with you what I did. It only took about five, 10 minutes, and I feel so much better right now. So what I like to do is I like to look at what's going on, what's happening in my life that's creating this discomfort, dis-ease inside of me. And I recognize that I'm a pretty neat person and my kids are not always picking up after themselves. That's kind of irritating me. And I was looking at just writing out what's going on. When I recognize what's going on, how does that make me feel inside of myself? How does that make me feel knowing that the kids don't clean up? And then what happens as a result of how I feel? And so just looking at that really is helpful for me. Then I thought about, well, how do I want to feel? How do I want to think about this experience? And I realized that I want to come from a different place, not from a naggy place. Whenever I feel naggy, whether it's nagging my husband, or or nagging the kids. I don't like that. I don't like to feel like a nag. That energy bothers me. So instead, I thought, if I come from a different place, if I come from a place thinking about how amazing my kids are, how incredible they are, how lucky I am to have them, and I, if I come from a place of gratitude, then asking them to help me around the house then comes from a different energy. And then that to me was like, yes, I feel so much better 
still getting the same result if I want things cleaned up and picked up. But if I come from a different place in having them pick up those things, if I come from gratitude, if I come from love in how I'm feeling and thinking about them, then what gets to happen when I ask them to clean up my energy is different. It doesn't feel naggy and negative. It feels loving and kind and an energy that I feel so much more proud of instead of feeling like this nag. And so I want you to think about if you're needing this time where you're just feeling a little blah, feeling a little bit low energy, not really liking how things are going with something. It could be your weight, your body. It could be, hey, listen, I don't like that the scale's not moving. I don't like that I've been stuck at this weight. And you can go, okay, so how does that make me feel? And you may go, it makes me really frustrated and angry. Like, okay. And then when you feel that frustration and that anger, then tell me what happens then. And you write out, okay, when I feel angry and frustrated, it just makes me feel so pissed off. And then I don't want to go do anything. I don't want to work on my body. Or I notice whenever I feel that way, I just kind of want to ignore my weight or ignore my body. And then you can think about, well, how do I want to feel instead about my current weight and what's possible for the scale to move in the direction that I want? And it could be, oh, I feel excited to get out of the 190s or the 210s or the 150s. I get excited about thinking about it changing and moving. And then when you think about that, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel excited. Okay. So then start thinking that instead, that you're moving out of the 190s, one out of the 210s or 220s or 310s or 140s or 160s or wherever you're at. And that creates then a new energy, a new possibility inside of the space of your life, inside of the space of your actions, inside of your head, inside of your heart. And then all of a sudden you can see and live into that new possibility, which is then exciting and not feeling depressed and upset and frustrated with yourself. And so I like doing these moments, these check-in moments with myself. And I just wanted to share how I moved my energy from feeling really negative and down, which could have led to overeating or binging or wanting to turn to food and move that energy into possibility, into creation, into excitement, into a new situation. And all it took was five minutes. That's it. So to break this down, If you're feeling a little blah and you need a little bit of a strategy to move your energy or your feelings in a new way, one, take full and total responsibility. Full and total responsibility. That is key. Is it so easy to blame everybody else? No. Take responsibility for the situation. Two, Write down, what is that situation? Write down the situation. What's going on? What's happening that's making you feel a certain way? Then if you go, okay, I don't want to feel that way anymore, then what new thought can you have? What new feeling do you want to have? And start playing around with new thoughts and feelings. And then once you hit on that new thought or that new feeling, all of a sudden you go, oh, Yes, that's it. That's it. I'm going to come from a place of being in gratitude for my kids, being so grateful for how amazing they are. And from there, that feels so much better from that place. Be like, I love you so much. Do you mind helping me clean this up? From that place, it feels so much better than just dictating. Hey, will you go clean that up? That feels better in my heart, that feels better in my head, that feels better in my body, and that will feel better for you as well when you start to look at what are those thoughts, what are those feelings that you could use instead and replace that uncomfortable thought with something that feels expansive, a new possibility, a new creation that you could manifest into the world. And then when you know you've hit on the right thought or feeling, it's when you go, yes, That feels so much better. And then when you have that new thought or that new belief, you just have it. You suddenly feel better. 
your outlook on the day feels lighter and more exciting for the day, for the possibility of what you want to create for yourself, for your family, for your relationship, for your body, for whatever you want to create for, and then go and have an amazing, amazing day. I hope that helps. Some people say, oh, Marna, you're always so happy. Do you ever have a bad day? And I think, yes, I don't always have great moments. And I'm anal. I like things really clean in a certain way. And so I definitely have moments where I pop off or I don't feel great about my thoughts or my behaviors or my thinking. And so I wanted to just share with you how I navigated that today in moving my energy and happiness up by taking full and total responsibility for my mood, for my actions, for my behaviors. And so you can start doing the same thing as well. Hey, listen, I want you to take the free weight loss course. And here's why. In the first session, I want to teach you two things that the naturally thin, hundreds of naturally thin people taught me that has changed my relationship with food. In the second video, I want to talk to you about your fatter chatter, your inner dialogue. How is that impacting your life, your weight, your body? Are you taking full responsibility for how you're thinking and speaking to yourself? Or do you need to start changing that so that you can start speaking and feeling so much better? You will find that it will open you up to start reprogramming your relationship with food and your mind and your body. It's free try it out. And if you're ready to take action, you can always step into some of the action items that I share with you, like the Thin Within Method, which is my six-week course where I help you really start looking at how to think differently, feel differently, and start practicing eating differently so that you can lose weight. I just heard from a client of mine who just has been taking the six-week course and she's down 19 pounds. 19 pounds in six weeks. I am so incredibly grateful that she shared that with me, that she's taking action, and that she is using the tools inside of the Thin Within method to keep losing weight and seeing her body transform. So I know I can help you. I would love to help you do the same. So check out my free resources, my free course on thinwithin.com and have yourself an amazing, happy day. Take full responsibility for making your weight and your body and your mind and your life dreams a reality. Bye, everybody.